Hello and welcome to your next tutorial in C++ and today we're going to be learning about functions as parameters. Now as you might have recalled, parameters always had some sort of value, right? They were variables basically. We either pass them in uh, by value or by reference, regardless they had values. So if we're passing functions as parameters, then that, mean, that must mean they must have values too, right? Well, only the ones that return a value. So remember, void functions cannot be passed in as parameters. So let's uh, get into this. So let's create an application in which you know we're asked for the user's name and their credit score. And depending on, the, on their credit score, they'll be either in good standing or not good standing. Or questionable standing. I don't know. So first of all, we're going to have to ask the user for something. So down here, let's create a string. Do I have a string? OK, make sure you have this included still. So string name and OK, so void um, uh, ask user name. I don't know, I'm kind of making this up here. So we're going to have to pass in our string and uh, by reference, right? So let's see here. So ask user name uh, gets or how about this? sets name of user there we go and we have an we have a parameter passed by reference um so that's gonna be a string name of user and is it gonna return it oh no because it's passed by reference so that's all we have to do and now we're gonna need a function that will actually get the score of the person and but this one will actually return the score because this one is what's gonna be used as a parameter so the score will be an integer and it will be ask user score something like that and uh, no parameters in this one so ask user score um, sets credit score of user and we'll just have a return value return int and that will be the credit score of user that's all. And then we'll need one that actually will print everything. So I know there's a whole bunch. So that will be void print. And that's going to have an integer. So it's going to have, uh, first of all, let's put, throw in the name. So that's going to be a string. And since we're not going to be modifying the string, we aren't going to be passing it in by reference. And we need the int that will be returned from our ask user. And don't worry, this will all make sense. Don't worry. So that's going to be prints. And okay, so prints whether user is in good standing. There we go. And so we'll have an at param string name of user and at param integer credit score of user. And that's not going to return anything. Okay, so we have a string name. And you know I still have to write the definitions, so I'm going to copy this. Come down to our definitions, and there we go. I'll type in a new name here, and have something print out that says "see out." Uh, enter your name, and then it will be "cn new name." There we go. So that's all we're going to be doing there, and that's all it does, pretty much. And I should probably have a C out end line just in case to make sure uh, everything works out nicely. So now we're going to have to access our ask user, ask user name, excuse me, ask user name. So all we're going to do is pass in this name right here. And it will be passed in by reference, as you can see, passed by reference, because we'll be modifying it inside here. So now the next one we're going to need is the ask for the user score. So I'll copy that and I'll come down here. This time, uh, I'm going to actually create the score inside. So then we'll have a C out that will say enter credit score, something like that. So then we'll have a C in score, and whoops. Then we're going to have to return the score. So that should work out. And I should probably have a C out end line there as well. So. Everything should work out pretty well. So then we're going to return the score. 
Then we're going to have one more, the print. So I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to print. So string, new name. Sorry this is so tedious and taking a while. This is probably boring watching this, but new score. So this should all pretty much work out. And let's make some if statements in here, shall we? So if uh, else, if, and an else. So we'll have an if score is greater than or equal to 740. How about that? We'll have a, oh, new score, excuse me. Uh, we'll have something print that says C out and line you are in good standing. So that's a, that's a positive feedback to get right there. Happy to see that one. <laughs> so then our next one will be new score is greater than or equal to, whoops, let's say 600. And I'll just copy this. Copy and paste. You are in questionable standing and that should not have an exclamation point just a period and an else oh whoops uh, control Z to undo control copy and control paste you are not whoops not in good standing there we go so there are three different results for whatever new score is whatever our score is and that's all it's gonna do so so let's figure out how we call both of these functions in our main. So basically, after we do our ask user name to set whatever our name is, the next thing we need to do is call our print. So we'll type out print as such, and then there's two parameters that need to go in there. We need the name, so we'll just put in our name in there again, and that in this name will be equal to new name and the score. Well, how do we get the score out of our ask user score? Well, since this function is returning the score, whatever we typed in, we could just type in the name of the function right here. So I'll put a comma, and what was the name of it? Ask user score. So ask user score. And you still need the parentheses afterwards. So there we go. So I'll click save, and let's try running this. See how it looks. So, oh, wait a minute. You know what? I never even used my name. So, you know what? I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this to is right here. Put a space. And I'll put new name. How about that? That This should be pretty cool. New name. And it should still say is in. Okay, there we go. And new name. Because I want this to look, because I have to use both, I forgot about that. Is not in good standing. Okay, so Adam is not in good Adam is in question mark. Adam is in good standing. Okay, so that should all work out. So now we're actually using the new name as well, so everything should work out. So let's look at this. Let's see how this all works. So I'll run this, and I'll type in my name, Adam, and let's enter a credit score. Let's enter 750. Now it says Adam is in good standing. So let's look at this. So first we went into our main, of course, that's by default. Then we declared a variable called name, or the program did that. Then we went to ask username, passing our name in by reference. So that means we're going to be modifying it, basically. Or that's what it usually means, that we're going to be modifying it. And that's not always true, which we will learn later in the series. So it says enter your name, which popped up. We put in our name, and an extra end line came down, so that's good. And that was all it did. So then we left this. Then we went into print, uh, passing both the name in, which we set it equal to something. Then we had this function. So then we dove into this function right here. So we went down to ask user score. And uh, a score data type or a score variable was created. And enter your credit score appeared here. Then we had to type in our score, which we did, 750. Then we had another end line. Then it returned score. So whatever we typed in here as score, it was returned. So that's why whatever data type you return has to be the matching of however you declared your function. 
So we declare this function as an integer, and it's also returning an integer, as you can see. So they must always match. So when we returned it, now this right here was now equal to that 750. So now this was equal to the string atom, and this was equal to the integer 750. So now we went to our print, taking those two in. So now new name was equal to atom, and new score was equal to the 750. So now if new score is greater than or equal to 740, which it was, execute this code. So then we got an extra end line, which I guess was unnecessary. And so my name was printed first, so Adam then is in good standing. So, oh, that took me a little bit to explain, but oh my goodness, quite a bit of stuff. So let's check out some of the others, and I guess we can wrap it up for this tutorial. So I'll type in Adam, again, or I'll type in Bob, and I'll type in 640. Bob is in questionable standing. Ooh, jeez, Bob. And let's type in a really high, high one. Let's go eight. Let's go. Uh, no, let's go eight sixty. And oh, that's my name. Didn't want to do that. You know what? No, what I wanted to do isn't going to work anyways. Because as long as it's greater than seven forty, won't matter. So let's type in four hundred. No, don't want to make that mistake again. Let's let's go James. I'm thinking about Pokemon right now. And enter credit score. So. Uh, what was I going to... Oh, 400. There we go. James is not in good standing. Uh, that's why he joined Team Rocket. Okay, so... Yeah, that's about all I wanted to show you for this tutorial. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you, and... Well, look look how small our main function is now. We, we really don't really have much in here anymore. Isn't that cool or what? Really legible. But anyway, so yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you, and I'll see you next time.